Writing direct speech is a really useful thing to be able to do in your writing, particularly if you are writing a story. There are a couple of reasons for this. First of all, it is a good way to give character to your characters. You can give them their own way of speaking, you can give them, you know, words that are more or less, you know, formal or informal or playful and so forth. So it's a uh, um, tricky one up your sleeve. The second thing is that quite aside from what it does for your characters, having speech in it transforms the story. I would say that almost every story is better with a bit of direct speech in it. So let's look at how we do it. So here we have Great Said Spot, one of my favourite sentences. Now there are a number of problems with this. First of all, it doesn't have its inverted commas. So what the person actually said has inverted commas around it. Uh, of course this is a sentence so it gets a full stop at the end. Now, some people would be tempted to full, put a full stop here, because in actual fact the speech needs to be punctuated. It's a sentence to or an utterance, so it needs some kind of punctuation at the end. The um, inverted comma there is not enough punctuation to end that sentence. In this case it's a full stop, but for reasons I'll explain in a little bit, that actually turns into a comma. The basic rule is, if your full stop is followed by a speech verb like spot said or said spot, then your full stop turns into a comma. So. That's the first lesson. We have um, inverted commas around, we have terminal punctuation, and we also start with a capital letter. Some people have all of their speech lowercase, but the normal rules apply. If it's the start of a sentence, you need a capital letter at the start of it. So let's have a look at the next bit. So this time we've actually got the speech verb first, Sally said. And what Sally said is, it's time to go. So we need inverted commas around that. We need to end that sentence with a full stop. We could also use an exclamation mark if we wanted. Or, for that matter, it could be a question. But either way, it needs something. So, it's time to go. That's a sentence, so it starts with a capital. Sally gets a capital because she's the start of that sentence and also it's a name. And the one thing that lots of people miss is that when you start with Sally said or something like that, the speech verb, you need a comma before you start the actual speech. So, Sally said, comma, it's time to go. So that's correctly punctuated. <coughs> Sorry about that. So let's have a look at this. Great, said Spot. Sally said, it's time to go, Spot. Now there's actually something I've missed here. Because she's speaking to Spot, you actually need a comma there. Just like, OK Mum, it's time to go, comma, Spot. When you use somebody's name, you need to put a comma before it, or if you said Spot, it's time to go, it would be Spot, comma, it's time to go. Now what I've done here is I've broken them out onto their own lines. So when I change speaker, I've got a bit of space so that the person can recognise that it's not just a jumble of text, I'm changing speaker. Now this isn't actually a punctuation rule, but it's really useful for your writing. If you look in most published books, they will break out their speech by who's actually speaking. So that's a really good thing to keep up your sleeve. Um, next up, just to recap, quotation marks go around the exact words that the person said. When the speech verb goes first, you put a comma before it, so Sally said, comma, terrific. Um, when the speech verb goes afterwards, a full stop gets transformed into a comma, so great, comma, said spot. Even though it would normally be a full stop because it's followed by the speech verb, it turns into a comma. This does not happen if it's a question mark, if it's an exclamation mark, or if it's an ellipsis. If this sentence was great, said spot, with a question mark, it would stay question. If it was an exclamation, it would stay an exclamation, and an ellipsis would stay. It's just that a full stop gets transformed. So anyhow, there is a very, very speedy lesson about writing speech. I hope it's helpful.